Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 2.18. Figure 2.15 gives a speed time graph of a particle in motion along a constant direction. Three equal intervals of time are shown in which interval is the average acceleration greatest in magnitude. In which interval is the average speed is the greatest? Choosing the positive direction as the constant direction of motion, give the signs of V and A in three intervals. What are the accelerations at the points A, B, C, D? Here we have four sub questions. We'll discuss one by one. It is the speed versus time graph. Coming to the first point, in which interval is the average acceleration is greatest in magnitude? If we observe in the region 1, the slope is somewhat is there. In this region 2, there is more slope here the speed is decreasing a lot but at a D there won't be any much change in speed so therefore from speed time graph by finding the slope the slope will be greatest in the interval 2 therefore we can write the magnitude of Average acceleration is greatest in interval two. This is the first support. While well, coming to the second sub question, in which interval is the average speed is greatest? Average speed, if you observe the speed time graph, the speed is maximum at a D that is in interval 3. So we can write average speed is greatest. in interval 3 while well, coming to the third sub question choose the positive direction as the constant direction of motion give the signs of v and a in three intervals we need to specify v and a where they are positive where they are negative if you observe V, V is number speed here, not velocity. Speed won't be negative. Therefore, V is positive in all three intervals. But while coming to A, a is positive in interval 1 and 3. But A is negative in interval 2. Why means here more steeper? Because the speed is decreasing here a lot. And one more sub question. 
what are the accelerations at the points a b c and d at the a it is almost look like speed is constant so the slope of speed here will be zero at b it is the peak value maximum value d by dt of this maximum value will be zero the slope is zero at c is minimum the slope is zero at d again v is maximum the slope is zero therefore a is zero at all the intervals at all sorry at all the points at all the points means at a b c and d so this is the solution and answer in detail for 2.18 so with this question motion in a straight line is completed all the questions are answered in detail i hope it will be very useful to the students if you like it please subscribe and share and uh, specify comment in the comment box if you require anything related to physics subject thank you